One day I was having a really nice conversation with my friend KB. And then all of a sudden, he looked at his wristwatch. And I thought, oh, he's in a hurry. So I said, KB, you have somewhere else to go? And he said, no, no, I was just looking at my watch. I didn't mean anything by it. But later I thought, how tiny diversions of attention have a big impact. And then I started to consider, how many inattention habits have I developed over time? A few months later, I was at a conference and I was sitting by myself, just collecting my thoughts, having a little peace. And then a colleague came over very enthusiastically, wanting to tell me all his realizations from the conference. I really wasn't in the mood, but then I remembered the power of attention and its consequences. So instead of just giving him half attention, I decided to try it out and turn my chair and face him directly to give him my full attention. What an effect. He was noticeably happy and surprised. And he said, I'm so grateful. And I thought, grateful for what? It was just my attention. He had some good things to tell me, but my lasting impression was that this person became my friend and remained so just because I had given him my full attention. The effects of giving someone one's full attention is measurable and amazing. The lesson, people respond to the quality of attention we give them. Half-hearted attention says, I don't really care about you. Purposeful, undivided attention says, I really care for you. The quality of attention we give to people is as important as sunshine is to plants. As conscious beings, we have a choice about where and to whom we give our attention. Considering this, it's reasonable to say that the greatest gift or the only gift we have to offer others is our attention. Whether it's a friend, a coworker, a spouse, a child, or anyone else, the quality of attention we're willing to invest in them determines the overall health of our relationship. Experiment with giving someone your full, undivided attention and see what happens. The effect will surprise you. To improve the quality of your relationships, look to the quality of the attention that you're giving them. It's one of the simplest things in the world, but it is the one ingredient that makes healthy relationships possible. Have you ever experimented with attention? I'd love to hear your stories. Please drop me a note and let me know your realizations, or if you have any questions, I'd really like to hear from you. Check out the contact information below.